everyone welcome back to another crafting video in today's video we're gonna be talking all about stickers but in particularly I'm going to be teaching you guys how to design sticker labels for teachers I always hear from my teacher friends that their things constantly get lost and never return to them so we're gonna be making them sticker labels for this project we're gonna be using sticker paper and laminating sheets but not just any ordinary laminating sheets they're going to be Tech Wrap's beautiful, beautiful laminating sheets that I loved working with. So let's get this project started. Now let's talk materials. Both of these envelopes, one of them contains the laminating sheets and the other one contains the sticker paper. So we're first going to open up the matte white printable sticker vinyl. This sticker vinyl has been the best to use because of how soft it feels. It feels like literal paper and it's so thin. I love how thin it is because it won't damage my printer. I find that with many other competitors, the sticker vinyl is just too thick and this one prints without any issues. And I just love how there is no weird feeling on top. It literally feels like paper. Now the holographic laminating sheets. This is one of the best things you can put on top of your stickers in order to make your stickers water resistant. And not only does it make your stickers water resistant, but it adds such a beautiful touch. Like look at these stars, these snowflakes, some glitter sparkles. You cannot put these on stickers. Like they just make it so fun and add so much personality. I'm already blown away with these beautiful designs. Let's check which more we have. Oh my goodness, this is so perfect for Valentine's Day. I just love the way the light captures the holographic design of it. And the best part is, is that it's not just the lighting. This design and this holographic effect catchers in any lighting so we have butterflies here then we have like this cool kaleidoscope looking one i really like this one because it's minimal but it'll still give you that wow factor and then these are just some like pixie dust stars and then we just have some mini stars right over here they are just absolutely stunning and so beautiful Just like the sticker vinyl, these laminate sheets are thin and very smooth to the touch. Sometimes I feel like laminate sheets are very thick and they have like this weird plastic feeling on top, but these are just absolutely perfect. So now we know that we're not going to get chunky layered stickers. We're going to get very smooth feeling and professional feeling. So you can use the sticker vinyl by itself, but for this project, we're gonna put our sticker paper as the base layer and the laminate sheet on top. Coming over to Cricut Design Space, I went under images and searched up teacher labels. I quickly found two that I loved so I went ahead, added them to my canvas, and now I'm going to personalize them with the names I'd like. You can always mess around and change the size of your project or images at any point in your progress. Here, I'm just trying to get an idea of how large I want my largest sticker to be. We're going to make sure we offer a variety of sizes because sometimes some objects that teachers would like to label may be smaller than others. So we're gonna make sure we give them options. This is my absolute favorite font to use. However, I'm not always the biggest fan of the line spacing. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. Now 
Once we have the image just how we like it, we're going to go ahead and highlight the entire image. We're going to take this highlighted image and flatten it. For sticker projects, you want to make sure that you're flattening your item so it becomes one whole piece. And once we have that set, I'm going to go ahead and add an offset. I always like the look of an outer outline, so I'm going to make sure we add that in, but not make it too thick or too thin. So here I'm just adjusting to see how I'd like it. And it will come up as gray, however, I'm going to keep it white so it just cuts around it. I wasn't a big fan of the font I had used for this sticker and I really liked the font of the other sticker. So I'm just going to go ahead and match the fonts. So I'm going to show you guys a little hack that I like to do when it comes to offsetting and if an offset doesn't really end up looking the way I want it to be. Typically, I want my offsets to be one whole piece, but for this image, it doesn't want to offset in one piece because of the way the image is set up. It wants to offset the bottom line and it wants to offset the top part. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this issue using our shapes. To get rid of the circles that are inside of the handles of the scissors, I'm going to go and take a round shape and just place it right on top and then to cover the other hole I'm going to do the same thing duplicate the shape and place it on top of the other hole now in this case the letters also have a gap so we're also going to cover that so you're going to want to go ahead and click shift and highlight the offset and all the circles and you're going to weld the image together now the for the gapping that's Next to the letters, I'm going to go back into my shapes and take a rounded edge square. Since the offset is rounded at the ends, I tend to see that it's better to work with the rounded images so you can get a more cleaner and flush look. And same steps as before, you are now going to have a one piece offset. Now that we have the designs just how we like them, we're going to want to go ahead and duplicate our images in order to resize each one. We want to make sure that we're offering and giving them labels that will go on almost any object no matter the size. I always am obsessed with the end result of a tech wrap print, whether it's the sublimation paper or in this case, the sticker vinyl. Everything just looks absolutely perfect. The colors are so vibrant 
it is ready to go ahead and cut. So now, if you're just gonna use the sticker paper by itself, you can now go ahead and place it onto the mat and load it into your machine. However, we're gonna add the laminate sheets, but I'm gonna show you guys how you wanna place your sticker vinyl onto your mat. Taking the standard tack tech wrap adhesive mats, you're gonna make sure that you're adding the paper and the sticker vinyl onto the very corner, lining it up as accurately as possible to make sure that you get the most accurate cut out of your machine. However, since we are adding the laminating sheets on top of our sticker paper, I'm going to take my tech wrap squeegee with the felt edge and slightly guide the laminating sheet over the images that are going to be cut. I always like to pre-cut to the surface area I need the laminating sheets to be on top of in order to make sure that the laminating sheet is not on top of the black lines that the Cricut reads in order to cut. If you add the laminating sheet on top of these black lines, it could disrupt the process and affect the way it reads the lines and ending in a pretty bad cutting job. So you wanna make sure that you avoid putting the laminating sheets on top. Even though cutting around these lines may seem like a tedious job at first, you can always see how easy it is to work with tech wrap products because I just need to do a simple cut and it will rip right where I need it to. So now that we are applying our last part of the laminating sheets, you can see just how stunning these stickers are going to turn out. So now I just have this last corner and you can also tell how thin these laminating sheets are. Just because they're thin doesn't mean it's less quality. It's still absolutely stunning. And hot off our Cricut, we have the most beautiful and professional looking sticker labels for our teacher friends. I just love the shimmer and shine and it just adds such a beautiful personality to these stickers. And if you like more projects like these, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to Tech Wrap's YouTube channel. We share so many crafting videos on how to use Tech Wrap materials for all your crafting projects.